Hey everybody and welcome to the introduction to the C++ networking tutorials. First off, I just want to go ahead and give a special thanks to some users who helped me in learning networking. I'd like to thank Reductor, H plus 0603 at GameDev, Sloan Kelly from YouTube, and then Glenn Fielder from the Gaffer on Games articles. For this series, I'm just going to cover a few prerequisites that you will want to know. Network programming, in my opinion, is pretty difficult to do right. There's a lot of things that you can mess up on, so it's important that you really understand the fundamentals of C++. So you'll want a good understanding of C++, understand things like working with memory at the byte level, working with pointers and smart pointers like shared pointer, unique pointer, classes and inheritance, standard templates such as vector, map, queue, multi-threading, thread synchronization, mutexes, and blocking versus non-blocking functions. For the tutorial series layout, we're going to have something like this where we have series one, which is what this video is a part of, which is the pre-networking series where we just cover information that you will need to know before we start any actual networking programming. Series two, which we will do just a beginner TCP thing uh, where we make a server and a client using blocking sockets and Winsock. Now Winsock is an API that is Windows only. So when we make this, it will be for Windows only. For Series 3, we will port that so that it will work on Linux as well. For Series 4, we will look into TCP using non-blocking sockets and either select or poll. I'm not sure, probably select. And for series four, we are going to be using Winsock. And then in series five, we will be, of course, porting this to be Windows and Linux compatible. Now, after all of these series are done, I'm not exactly sure. We might do a series for UDP sockets, uh, a series for advanced TCP using IOCP. Now, IOCP is good for making uh, highly scalable servers that would have a whole bunch of clients connected but it is Windows only, so that kind of stinks. And then after all that, we might look into ePoll uh, for an advanced TCP series. Now, ePoll is Linux only, but it is also uh, much more scalable than something like Select. That is just a quick overview of what to expect, and I hope that this series is helpful.